be live. Let's see if we are. <laughs> okay, that looks good. Okay. Okay. So we have sound and we have picture. So we're ready to go. Hello, my name is Allie. I'm from Okay to Be Fat because it is okay to be fat. Welcome to the stream. Um ooh, I got people to thank. Let me thank some people. Uh, do, 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 do. Gotta get in and see who needs to be thanked. Okay, so I'll go back at least one. Thank you to, I just want to make sure I get everybody. Thank you to Cinnamon Mountain, Space Funk Samurai, and Eight Headed Boy for the follows. Thank you. I appreciate you. Alright, y'all. It's time to Cabaret Club. What? Oh, yeah. Alright, so I'm just gonna run it. Just to get some money. Let's do it. Money, 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 money. Money. Gotta get a lot of money. Money. Okay. Alright, so... That our people. Chica can go in. She's tired. She's tired. She's fine. She's fine. Miss Travel, do your do your cats also insist on laying on the hottest parts of the house? Ah, uh, not necessarily. Um. I mean, when it's winter, they're, like, pretty, uh, obsessed with getting in front of the, um, the heater vents, and also, like, they do like laying in the sun, but, um, I feel, like, very lucky, um, I know this is not, this is not true in most of the United States, but in Philly, most of the houses don't have, um, or I don't know, I grew up in the South, everybody has AC. Because it's not like, oh, shut up, shut up. It's not livable if you don't. Like, it's ridiculous. And it was all window units. I was like, ugh. Pardon? Um. What do you mean? And, uh, yeah, it's, it's all window units. And almost every house in, uh, the city is. I could use another skill girl. Almost every house in the city is gonna have, um... Me and my roommate both have AC in our rooms, but none downstairs, and he insists on staying downstairs. So Bizarro insists on staying downstairs? Maybe he doesn't like the cool air. I don't know. Like, sometimes with window units, they're a little bit like, meh. <laughs> But, um, we are some, I don't know. I'm glad we did it, but, um, we had the ductwork already done, except for in, like, um, this, this fucking house, I swear to God. So, like, the people who owned the, the house, this house before me, um, were... just made inexplicable fucking decisions. That's the nicest thing I can say about them. Um, they were racist at the closing table, which was lovely. Um, considering that both of them were clearly also not like originally American. Um, so that was fun. Um, like so many things 
You know what I used to do when I lived in an apartment? Um, I don't know if this will be helpful for you, but I'll go ahead and suggest it. Let's just open and I'll talk about that. Yes, party for me. Ooh, handsome man. Yeah. Get that kind of weird hair in the front. Um, so, before I moved into this house, I lived in a second floor of, like, one bedroom apartment, and, um, it also did, did not have AC, um, except for, like, some extremely busted window units, and, um, that were not very good. And, be and it was just like, also like, it seemed like it was like, very much not like, um, insulated properly, I guess I would say. Um, the downstairs window unit just needs to be put back in here, but it is all window units. Yeah, I was like, um, I had like one unit in the, like, really, in the, well, in the, like, den area, and then, like, one, um, in the bedroom, and, um, y'all just gonna have to be mad, and, like, it, it was brutally hot up there, because, like, all of the heat from the second story would rise up to, to the first, or from the first story would rise up to the second, and then, um, like, it just was, like, not insulated for shit, um, because it was brutally hot up there, it was, just, like, all the time, um, and it made me worried about the cats, like, being in there, and so, Sometimes I, like, if it was, you know, like a heat wave and it was really bad, um, I was worried about running it when I wasn't there because I was super poor. Um, so, like, if it was gonna be super duper hot, I would, like, kind of move, you know, the food and the litter into the bedroom and, um, you know, and just, like, let them, like, hang out in the bedroom while I was gone. Um, but the other thing that I would do, and, um, Tifa especially really liked this, is I would, like, freeze, um, I would take a bottle, like a big, like a seltzer bottle, like this kind of big, like a liter bottle, and I would, um, put water in it and freeze it, like, every night. So every night I just, like, pop it back in the freezer, and then, um, when I would leave in the morning, I would stick it in the, um, in the bathtub. And so she would, like, uh, she would, like, Tifa would get into the bathtub and, like, hang out with this ice bottle and, like, lick the ice water coming off of it. Um, and she seemed to, like, really like that, and so that's what I would do, because it was just so unbelievably hot. Um, <laughs> extend it! Hell yeah. Uh, but yeah, so... We had for a long time... Always protected her off. For a long time, we had just the window units here, too. And, like, you know, Philly is not Alabama. It does not get, like, hot like that. But for about, like, I don't know, about a month and a half, it is pretty hot every year. And, like, we do get, you know, some 90-degree weather, which sucks. Um, Chica? I don't remember if she needs that or not. Um. But eventually what happened is the furnace broke. 
Uh, right. It's just like such a nightmare, like owning a home. People are like, everyone should own a home, and I'm like, no, I don't think this is the best way to do this. Because, like, every repair is like being punched right in the fucking gut. Um, just a nightmare. Um, but yeah, so furnace broke uh, a few years back, right when it was starting to get cold, and um, and it just died. And like we have a really good um, HVAC guy, and he was like, I really would love to fix this for you, but this furnace is like. From World War Two, and they just don't make this shit anymore. And I was like, okay, okay, fair enough. Um, so we had to get a whole new furnace, and then he couldn't do it we, because it, you know, it's just starting to get cold, so that's his busy season. Um, and he was like, I could do it for you, but it won't be until like January. And this was like. It was like Thanksgiving, and I was just like, "There is, there is no way I can endure having zero heat for that long." Um, and so we had to get other guys to do it, and I'm like, they blew. It sucked. I'm like, I'm like, sorry, we couldn't get him to do it because you know. But it's just, it's just one of them things where like sometimes like. There were so many things wrong with this house when I bought it that, like, you know, we just... You, you try to prioritize fixing things and, like... If there's a lot of them, sometimes you... Or they're expensive, sometimes you just don't do them until they fucking break. And then they break at the worst possible time and you end up getting kind of screwed. Um, but... Because we had all the duct work... For the heat, we were able to add central air, which almost no one has. So, um, that has been, uh, uh, just such a life improvement. Because, oh, like, I hate being uncomfortable, I hate being hot. I have eczema that gets worse when I'm too sweaty, and, you know, it's just like, so much better. Although, and the other thing that we did do during that was we had like another. We had also had to have another vent, like put, like run in the house <laughs> because like the people who had this house before me like literally only put heat into one of the bedrooms. Like what is fuck? What, what are you doing? But that's what they did. So like in order to have heat and AC in both of the bedrooms. We had to like pay an extra amount of money to get, to get this fucking vet ran. It's a mess. It's like, it's been okay so far, so that's good. Alright. When I was 18 or 19, we had to replace our antique stove, but my shitlord ex broke it. He never even apologized. Man, fuck that. Fuck that guy. You, That's not acceptable. How you break someone's appliance and then, like, you don't even say sorry? Like, now are you supposed to say sorry? You're supposed to be like, uh, can I give you some money? <laughs> I mean, I don't know everybody's experience that they could afford to replace a whole stove. But, like, a stove ain't a furnace, number one. We're... So there's that. But also, like, man, you fucking break somebody's shit. You gotta, like... You gotta, like, help them fix that. That's just manners. And they didn't even say... He didn't even 
help you fix it, I bet. And then he didn't apologize on top of that? What a fucking jerk. Okay, customer service too, are you ready? Here we go. Alright, let's pick up where we left off, eh? Hi. Okay, I'm looking forward to it. Treat me like a regular customer, just like last time. You ready? Oh god, are we gonna have some, like, absolutely off-the-wall questions? Almost guaranteed. He was also 19 and broke, so my mom didn't want him to pay, but all caps, no apology. Yeah, no, that's fucked up. Listen, even if you know, I don't know, I'm Southern, so even if you know that people aren't going to let you pay, you still are supposed to offer, right? Like, or at least in the culture that I'm from, you're at least supposed to offer. Now that you're supposed to offer, there's this whole ritual on, like, how you offer. Like, right, so let's say I go out to eat with my father-in-law, who is, you know, family patriarch, he wants to pay. So, that's fine. He's not going to let us pay, no matter what. Um, I don't really do this with him because he's not Southern, but like, let's say my best friend's dad takes us out to dinner, and he's like, I'll get it, I'll pay for it. You know, we're in college, we're broke. And, like, that's the scenario. And, like, no matter what, I, like, you know, I don't really want to pay for it because, like, I'm broke. Um, also, he's the daddy. He's not going to let me pay for it. Like, it's just not going to happen. But I have to offer. So he says, I'll get it. Don't You girls don't worry about it. And then I have to say, oh, no, that's too much. You can't do that. Let me, um, you know, I can pay for it. It's not a problem. And then he's like, no, no, no. I'm going to get it. Don't worry about it. And then I'm like, I mean, you don't have to do that. Are you sure? And then he's like, yes. And then you're allowed to say okay. You have to say no twice. Then you can say yes. Why did I date that straight man? I mean, is that not the eternal question? I've definitely done a version of that dance. It's, like, considered rude if you don't, right? And, like, that has, like, been my biggest problem of moving out of the South is, like, the mismatch in, like, cultural expectations I didn't even realize I had not being met by people who are not of that culture because I left that culture. So it, it it's been a... It's been an entire, like, learning curve, and I'm still not very good at it. Like, you got all these unspoken cultural assumptions. I learned different ones, and now I'm, like, you know, neurodivergent and not great at picking that shit up on top of that. Eww. All right. Oh, Koro-kun, you came to see me again. I'm so happy. Yeah. I wanted to see you, Mana-chan. <laughs> ah thanks you. What the fuck was that? Ah-ha-ha, -ha. thanks. Let's have fun again today. <laughs> yeah, let's roll. <laughs> so, Mana-chan, cute girl like you probably has guys lined up around the block for a chance to date you. You must be a pro at the romance game now, huh? Oh, not really. I really don't have any experience with romance at all. Aww. Wow. Now I'm really seeing why you were number one at Club Moon. I can see through it. But for a regular customer, this is the kind of talk that pulls on the heartstrings. The eyebrows are good, right? I think that was a good choice. I think she looks really cute. I love it. Sorry to break it to you, but 
This isn't some kind of scripted speech for work, Gorokun. I've never really been in love. I mean, sweetie, you're like a baby. It's fine. That's so. You had me going there. Well, if you got no past relationships, why don't you tell me what your ideal man is like? My type of guy? Hmm. I don't know what my kind of guy was like. I'm gonna tell her that's a perfect answer. Perfect. That's a great strategy for making the customer feel like they got a chance with you. Oh, she didn't like that. Come on, I really don't know what my type is. Maybe she should try to believe me a little. Huh? Oh, sorry. I still can't believe it, but really? Majima, you just gotta believe her. I'm telling you, I have no experience being in love. Oh, sorry for doubting you. It's hard to believe a girl like you has no relationship experience. I did not pick this on purpose to make her mad or anything. It is not always clear to me which, like, answers are gonna lead to good outcomes. And also, like, I don't know, I don't really like the flirty answers. So, the number of guys you dated is a big fat zero? What? No, that's not true. I've gone out with a reasonable number of people. Huh? huh? Didn't you just say you've never been in love? Which one is it? It's... Sweetie, it's called casual dating. Going out with someone isn't the same as being in love with them. I, I can't believe she had to explain this to him. I've gone out with guys who asked me out just because I had no particular reason to say no to them. Koro-kun, between you and me, I've never fallen in love with anyone before. Maybe there's something wrong with me. There's nothing wrong with you, Mana! You're just an... you... Listen, I'm not gonna label you, but maybe you're an asexual legend. Hmm? Consider it. It's possible. It never hurts to ask questions. Oh, also, I'm I'm like, I just paused there because I lost my train of thought. But I'm just going to say this because I think it's important and it doesn't get said enough. Asexual people are queer and they belong in queer community. Thank you. I support asexual people. Nothing's oh. wrong. Ain't nothing wrong with you, Monachan. Oh, and aromantic people too. I those are different things. I'm not either of those things, and so I don't really like engage with that discourse because like it's not for me to do, I don't think. But um aromantics as well. Mana, have you considered the queerness of this the, mo uh, the most holy month of pride, which does include Ace and Arrow people? See, Miss Dravel said it better. Said it better than me. My almost having a meltdown ass, but I'm better. I'm fine. I took my edible. We're going to be fine. Ain't nothing wrong with you, Mana-chan. Everyone does the love thing differently. And some people don't want to. And that's okay. <laughs> The reason you haven't fallen for anyone yet is probably just because there haven't been any guys around worthy of the honor. That is a reason. Reason number two is queerness. Just put it out there. 
for pride. When I get into the nitty gritty of it, I def identify it as bisexual and demi romantic. That's cool. I like. I don't. As I said, I don't know much about um, the asexual labels because, like, I don't know. I'm like. I've always felt very strongly that they don't apply to me, so I just really didn't look into them that much. Um, you know, there's, I think, I have been approached by, within my Twitter mentions, by people who were saying some things that seemed a little out of pocket and kind of extreme, um, regarding like ace discourse and I'm just like I don't want to discourse with you man so like I'm not a part like when it comes to ace and arrow community I know I'm not a part of that so like I don't you know I don't like getting into other people's business and like kicking up a fuss I don't think that's really my place and I got another I got enough stuff to do I got chores to forget that I'm supposed to do I got bills to forget to pay I got a car to forget to drive around so the battery doesn't go dead I got all kinds of things I gotta forget and then remember and then forget again so I don't like have a lot of time to like get up in other people's business because my business is so overwhelming and a mess all the time <laughs> so yeah I mean there was a thing that happened with like a comment that I got that I was just like so overwhelmed by it and like, normally I don't like whatever I'm like you know what let me let me that's totally fair. I usually don't bring it up because I'm too ex ex tired to explain it constantly. I usually just stick with bi. I mean, I feel that. Sometimes that's why I just say queer, but, like, I'm married to a straight man, so that, like, <sighs> causes problems that, as of, as you know. Um, but, like, uh, it causes problems from other queer people. But, like, I don't, like, yeah. You know what? Let's, let's table this for a second. I'm going to get through this, and then I'll tell you if you remind me, because I'm definitely going to forget. Ha 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 ha. Um, I'll talk some more about, like, weird comments, people trying to make me talk about stuff that I don't think is appropriate for me to talk about, which is weird comments. And then, um, maybe talk about some gender stuff for Pride. I don't know. Um, that might be fun. But, yeah. I'm, like, I'm, like, staring at Mana's face being, like, I'm, I'm not giving her the attention. So let me, let me, finish, let me get through this. But, yeah, I, I, um, I have friends who, um, identify as, like, demisexual or demi-romantic so like I have a like I think for a uh I believe it's allosexual allo is that right allosexual for a not asexual or a romantic person I have a 101 understanding of the terms um and like you know I look stuff like that's the thing too is like if someone's using a term I don't understand, I'll just go look it up. <sighs> if we both don't forget, truly, this is a stream of queer ADHD legends. <laughs> it's true. Um, Goro-kun, thanks. I feel so much better now. You're so nice. People should be nice to you, sweetie. It's okay to not... I mean, that's the other thing, too, is like... 
I am not asexual and I am not aromantic. I did not fall in love until... Well, I mean... I don't know. It's one of those editing things where it's like you kind of want to edit your past relationships to be like, oh, I didn't really love that person. But like relationship wise, reciprocated wise, like I was in my 30s, you know, and like a lot of people are like, oh, no, if I don't find love by the time I'm 23, that means it's over or like whatever arbitrary number that they set for themselves. And it's like. It's not over unless you decide you don't want to do it anymore, aka dating. If you're in, if you want to date, you always can try to date. It's just like, it can be hard to find people, but there's nothing wrong with not having a lot of romantic or sexual experience. Even if you want to have it and don't, and it's a source of pain for you, like, you should, like, respect that that means that that's an important thing to you and that's okay it's okay to feel that pain um because i think also a lot of times we treat people who, like pushing everybody to be in relationships and we treat people who don't want to be in relationships like they're broken and weird and we treat people who aren't in relationships who do want to be in relationships like they're desperate and it's just like it just leave people alone like relationships and life is hard enough without people like making it worse by getting all up in your shit I mean it is astonishing the level to which people stopped bothering me once I got married and I resent that that's what it took hmm? <laughs> nice eh mm. uh -huh. like it did it didn't take my <laughs> distress and anger to end it it took a fucking <laughs> ring Yep. Oh, wow. I wish I could have fallen for a nice guy like you, Goro-kun. Oi, oi. Oi, oi. Hey, hey. Why is it gotta be too late now? Because you're her boss, sweetie. Mm. So, if you did fall in love with someone, what do you think you'd be like, Monotron? I think we devalue people's relationships too when we center like all important relationships in like blood family and like romantic relationships like those are not the most that for some people those are not the most important relationships to them and like it's just so limiting it's just like just stop trying to make everyone be heterosexual I love Mana chan. I love you, Mana. You are adorable. I wonder how I'd be myself. I haven't the faintest clue. Maybe, maybe you'd be like, Oh, Goro kun, I quit. I've fallen in love, and I'm running away to become a bride. I love that. No, I don't think I... I don't think I'll... Oh, God. Come on, brain. No, I don't think I'll go to that extreme. I really like this job. I want to keep doing this job when I'm a grandma. Get them grandpas. <laughs> ha, nice. Grandpas can be your target market. Ah, so that's a business chance. Come on. What did you say? I didn't have a crap. Goro kun tensai. Ooh, that might be a new business venture. A cabaret club for grandpas. Goro kun, you're a genius. Well, good news, Majima employs grandmas. Your job is secure. It's true. I have to wonder what a cabaret club for senior citizens would be like. Hmm. 
Ah, you make it all good. Man, Mana really does have a lot of ideas. It would be good to have a large selection of Japanese sake and be able to drink them hot. The food will be mostly soft. The girls will all wear kimonos, and I've got lots of ideas. Aww. Well, I guess the older folks actually have money. <laughs> <laughs> oh, indeed. <laughs> I'm sorry. That just kills me as a sentence. Yeah. I guess the older folk actually have all the money. So, maybe you're on to something, but the hostesses are all grannies? She does have a career as a franchise manager, I agree. Yep, that's right. When I'm a grandma, I'm gonna work there. Koro-kun, I'll need your help. Uh, let me think about it. Hmm. Hmm. You really love this job, don't you, Monachan? Um, daisuki. This job is here, so I'm here now. Yep, I love it. Yep, I love it. I'm the way I am now, thanks to this job. The way you are now? あ、今のやっぱりなし。かなかったことにしてくれないかな。あ、アクシュアリー、スクラッチ、だ。キャンユープレゼンユディンヒアニティング。オールライト。ディーヒアワット。さすがゴロウくん。大好きだよ。ユ
I don't remember exactly when I did this, but I kind of made a promise to myself at a certain point that, like, I think it had to do with fat activism, honestly, where I was just like, you know what? I'm... I don't have to explain myself to people. Especially people asking, like, real aggressive and ignorant questions. <laughs> I mean, I certainly have had the thing that I think a lot of people have where you sit there and you're like, but am I? But am I? But am I? I mean, like, I've, I've been through that with bisexuality and queerness and I've been through that gender and like you know it's just like I, I just at a certain point thought to myself like straight people and cis people don't like agonize over these things like they just don't I don't think um, not like this and so like that's a data point, you know, the fact that it's even bothering me is a data point. Um, but, like, I don't really think of myself as doing, like, trans or non-binary activism. Um, I don't... I, that, that's not... It's not a field that I've, like, studied a lot, you know, I think, especially when you've got a lot of people acting in severe bad faith, that, um, it makes sense to be cautious about, like, this, you know, making certain statements or, like, you know, purporting to speak for everybody or just, you know, because I grew up in the evangelical church, I've seen people get, like, their whole thing is, like, rhetoric and twisting people up around in, like, pretzels and stuff. We don't give people a lot of good language to think or talk about these kinds of topics, and it can be a really rough time, but you definitely don't know, owe an explanation. Yeah, I, I definitely agree with that. I think, like, it's not even that I'm, like... I, I feel like I have a pretty good explanation, um, you know, that I've kind of been over for myself and with myself, and I've sort of talked to, um, you know, people very close to me about it, and, but insofar as, like, you know, getting in the mix and mixing it up with people on, online in the sort of name of, like, trans activism, I just don't feel like... Um, equipped to do that, you know, because I think that, like, it's really easy when you don't know, like, the tricks to get, like, kind of spun around, and sometimes even when you do, you know, like, people, I think sometimes are kind of expecting or hoping that people who are asking them these questions are trying to like understand and it's just like I don't know that they are a lot of the time and so you know I just like I think th the place where I was like I am not going to explain myself to these motherfuckers actually was when I left the evangelical church because I was like, um, I gotta see if X Vangelical is a fucking tag. That would be delightful. Um, uh, that was Lady's Boss. Because there's like a big X Vangelical, like, TikTok, I think. Um, maybe there should be X Vangelical, like, Twitch. That'd be pretty good. Um,. But, you know, like, evangelicals, like, always want to fucking debate you and shit. And it's just, like... 
I'm not gonna debate it with you, man. Like, I don't believe the same shit you do. And you can't, like, debate me into believing it because I don't. Like, that's not why you believe it. Like, people don't... But yeah, so... And also, it's one of those things, it's like... It's like tender, you know? It's like... I think I kind of think of it as being like... For me. And the people I decide that I want to share it with, it is not necessarily for the entire internet. But... I think it's important to, in, for me, it was important to, like, at least, um, stand up and kind of claim that label, and then, like, be, at least if I'm not, like, making that my sub, like, topic that I talk about a lot, at least to be, like, visibly a person who is... You know, the thing. There's not enough time in this life to debate bullshit with people acting in bad faith. I agree. Yeah, I mean... I don't know. I'm just kind of like... I don't even know where I was going with that. I guess it's like... There's some stuff that like... I don't give a shit. And have not for years... What anyone says to me about being fat... I could not and still continue to do this work. Um, because things people say are like fucking heinous. And like, I don't feel prepared to deal with that in a gender way. You know, in the same way that like, I We'll talk about being an ex-evangelical. I will probably talk about it some more. But I, like... It's such a triggering topic for me that, like... I try to be really careful and deliberate about how I talk about it because I can't, like, be... I mean, I think I can't... I, I pulled back on that space, and it was because of some ugly shit that happened, but also because, like... <sighs> like, I... It's hard for me to talk about what happened to me in the evangelical church without getting upset. And then, like... And I don't think that, like, my upsetness under girds my argument because like those things are real and they really did happen but like it's not fun for me you know it's not fun for me and like I don't I don't want to like I j I just don't want to like deal in anecdotes in that way because like like, I'll tell them when I feel like telling them, but I don't, like, want to use them as, like, part of my activism very much because I, it, it is painful, I think, to have, like, to, you know, tell the story of, like, some of the worst things that have ever happened to you and have people be like, meh. And, like, I, I just, no, I'm not gonna do that. And, like, people who do do that are, like, maybe more like emotionally strong than I am because I just get so furious yeah fuck you Protecting your mental health is really important. You don't owe people activism that could be damaging to you. Well, thank you. That is very sweet and very understanding, and I appreciate it. And I think also, like... There's only so much 
you can specialize in, right? There's only so much stuff you can do well. It, er, at least, I think, a lot of the times. And that, like, it... Where's the... Okay, it is down here. I think that, like, for someone like Chrissy Stroop, who, you know, that is her focus, and that, you know, is the thing that she has expertise in, like, it, it makes sense that, like, you know, that would be, like, her specialty. And it's, like, not mine, because... <coughs> I did a lot of reading when I was deconstructing my religion, and then I was like, fuck you guys, and I just fucked off, and I've been out of it. That's the other thing, too, is, like, I've been out of it since, like, the 90s, and, like, despite a lot of efforts of, from my family to drag me back in, I've never been back, and so, like, there's, like, hey, you want to come to church with us? I'm like, I don't know how many times I need to tell you I don't go to church unless it's a funeral or a wedding in which case obviously I will go because that's the social norm but like I'm not going to your church to just hear some fucking random sermon I how many times I gotta tell you this so I you know I'm, I'm like I guess I have anecdotes and I have an analysis that I think is fine but it's not like great you know it's just like it's okay um i chrissy's analysis analyses are better so you know if you don't follow chrissy stroop um she's great let's go to the bed of sticks you head around down a river pal go sure all right let's go you got it boss all aboard. What's up, guy? Welcome to the bed of sticks. Hey. All right. I sure. Devil Spree Howling Romp. A hellhole forsaken by heaven, but not by the devil, who throws down healthful gifts to the contenders. All he wants in return is to hear their screams of pain and anguish. Amazing copywriters. You know, as sad as it was, at least Nishitani died doing what he loved, being horny in jail. Ha ha ha! That's true. I will put this away. I'm like, give me some money. First match. The God Fist Man! Oh, no bats, huh? They boo me every time I fall down. Do they, like, not like this guy? Oh, got him! Prepared for COVID, but not for Majima. Nope. Well, that did it. He not catch COVID-19, but instead caught these hands. <laughs> All right, speedy murder thief. That's a hell of a thing. 
Whoa, 3,000 bikes? You gotta die for bicycle thefts? That don't seem right. Bro, fuck you. Ah, wanted to get fucking fancy. We're extremely powered. Nice. Firework shell. All right. I guess that's a crafting material. Is this? This is not better than. This is not right. This is not better than. Uh. I know there's a completion for this, so I'll try the Howling Rom. First match. Bicycle thief, murderer. Seems like a procedurally created person from Watch Dogs Legion. <laughs> Coup d'etat instigator. Oh, fuck you, buddy. Oh! Well, dang. Next match. Power flash belt. Invincible? Fuck! You just stay away from this bitch. Ow, oh, motherfucker! He ain't invincible no more. Fuck you! Now he's poisoned. Ow, oh, fuck! This guy's got a gun. Get back here. There we go. How dare. See, there we go. Just under the city, you got this whole, like, shaboodle going. You know, like you do. 50 murder attempts. Picky human body collector. Amazing. Why can't I grab him? Is he invincible or some shit? Oh, now I'm poisoned! This sucks! Alright, let's try this. Fuck you, buddy. Wait, do I get my bat? Oh, well, fucking Jesus. If I thought of that. Got 
got him. Jeez. Great. I'm not sure this is worth it. Okay. You know what I'm going to do? First, I'm going to leave. Well, first, I'm going to eat. Yeah, no, that was not a goodly amount of cash. Boost me! Yeah, back to the club, I think. I think I might actually play, if it's okay with you, a soothing game of Mahjong. gotta buy some more stuff I think too all right that's like cute and all but I gotta go <sighs> it sucks I'm actually like having um a what should be th this is one of those like I just been running around all day being like my brain is broken my brain is broken but <laughs> It feels kind of broken, because the thing is, is like, I am fine, right, like, I'm fine. This week has actually been really good. Um, I had a, I had a week off. I mostly spent that crying about the mattress and then laying on the new mattress. My back doesn't hurt for the first time in about forever which is wonderful and like I still feel like I'm gonna crawl out of my skin like the anxiety is so bad <laughs> so has Kiryu been making his way ever closer to Sottenbury during Majima's chapters um like in the car Maybe so. I'm not really sure. It's... I don't think they're, like, that far apart. <laughs> I am also sorry that my anxiety is a butt. Um... I think that, like... What is happening is... Because it's almost extra frustrating when you're in a point where you're just like nothing is wrong not only is nothing wrong things are finally like finally better than they have been for a long time why do I feel like full ass and the answer is like because I don't know it's been a long time feeling bad and like I don't know I can't always feel what like how bad things are or what's been going on like while it's happening you know and like once it's over that's when I'm like Arr! and then I like have to feel all of the things that I wasn't feeling because I was too busy like trying not to have a complete freak out so I could just function enough to like get to the next day in the hopes that it would get better and then it gets better and then all of the feelings come and start happening and I'm like no I just what if I just didn't have those feelings like, can I just not I want to feel things god I assume they're inching along so they can dramatically exit at exactly the moment Majima finishes up his plot stuff. I like what you I like it. It's a good it's a good theory. I like where you're going with that. Torianers. Tough to see. I need to ask. Compare. I'm not. 
doing that. Josh thought that the Die Hard Maxes were really good. Um, and would, like, load up on those. Yeah, that's good. So, like, I'm actually doing, like, pretty good, and I was able to get some stuff done that I wanted to do, and, like, everything's kind of clicking along, and, like, inside my brain, it's just like, and I'm like, Stop being like that. And my brain's like, no. I'm just like, God, why? Why are you like this? No, I'm not ready. Hey, are you listening to me? No, never. 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 Okay. Let's just go down here, scooty scoot in, and have a little relaxing mahjong time. I guess I'll do the high rate table. I don't mind. Yeah, whatever. That's fine. And then, like, I made the <laughs> fucking ding dong basic ass mistake of, like, reading comments, which, like, never do it. Everyone's like, don't do it. And I'm like, I know, but on the other hand, like, ah, uh, sometimes it's hard not to, because, like, people are like, I wouldn't look at the comments. I'm like, you mean to tell me that you know that people are talking shit, talking about you, and you wouldn't go look at it? And, like, I mostly don't, because I forget about it, or I just don't want to see it. Um, but, like, I'm evil. I want to keep the east. Okay, that too kind of sucks. I'm not keeping that too. Um, and I just like looked at this comment, and it was like misgendering Jeez. in like a way that <laughs> I've seen people get really like mug and self-righteous about before in the past where you just want to be like where's like you could have said the thing that you didn't <laughs> like about the work without that like I, it's fine that you didn't like it like okay but like you didn't have to like like <sighs> like whatever you know I, I don't know I don't know. Because, like, for, for the, for, for my part, I shouldn't have looked, and I know better. But, <sighs> I also thought the criticism was bad. I mean, it's like, I don't think it's legit criticism anyway. Um, but, I don't, like, I, I've been really... I've tried to be kind of careful talking about this because I don't want, like, I don't want anyone to, like, go search this person up. Um, I just was like, and I, and people say shit to me all the time and I don't do anything about it, which is really the best course. Um, but, like, like, it, <laughs> That's what I mean about, like, the gender thing being kind of tender, because that's, like, that's the thing that kind of, like, got to me. And I knew when I decided that I didn't want to, like, that I wanted to say the thing that, like, this is going to be a thing, but, you know, it's just, like... <sighs> I don't know. I don't know how much more I should say about that. Um, hey, the Lady Mari, how are you doing? I also love Marjong. Um, say everything about the 
mean comment? <sighs> what can I say that is not going to indicate? Okay. I'm like... Sometimes people want when you have what name names. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> I'm not gonna do that. Um, I understand the impulse, but I mean, you know, if people don't like something that I made and they want to talk about that, that's fine, you know? Um, it, it truly is, and I, you know, I'm like, bro, I went to art school. I've heard just the most egregious crits. It's like... I... I, I get a... Like, like any artist, I get a little, like, pissy when I think that something is, like, not warranted. Um, but I try to keep that to the group chat, you know? Um... But... I mean, I, I talked about this a little when I found it. I talked about it on uh, on Twitter a little bit, but I was just like, I think that some, and you know, I don't know if this, I don't know the ethnicity of this person, so like, I could be incorrect by being like, I think this was a white person saying this, but the reason why I think that is because I've seen so many other white people do this, and it's just like, What is, is, is it like, is it a, a fan? It's a little hard to see. Maybe it'll be, ooh, that is very cool. I think there is sometimes when people, when white people find, find out about racism, like, what it actually is and like how bad it is and that it is real and that it is like very harmful I think and like you know take that like want to take that on board and like try to do something about it like the the <laughs> the, pr the thought process of like what to do about it is like oh. so daunting to people um that they they will like I guess maybe default to things that are uh, not helpful oh that's a beautiful fan um and that in some cases, it ends up being about showing everyone that you are not a racist. And, like, that's not really what it's supposed to be about. Um, like, really any kind of activism or social justice work really should not be performance in my opinion it's it's like i found that such things are easier to deal with when you have a gen bloody mary yes that's how i spell my recipe is it mary like mary or mari am i saying it wrong um i deeply apologize if i've been saying it wrong this whole time um like y'all have to correct me if i say things wrong mari okay because, like, I don't want to say y'all's names wrong. <laughs> okay, good. But, you know, it's text, and sometimes people have, like, usernames that, like, look cool, but are <laughs> like, difficult to decipher. <coughs> so, I mean, like, trying to give people... Yeah, I, I'm sure that you have, like, 
if if there's like multiple pronunciations of your name, you're probably gonna hear every single one of them, and hey, some that you've never mom. heard before. This is not a great hand. need to chi for that. The only one I object to is Murray. But that don't even look like that. Don't even look like Murray. Like why would it be Murray? That's weird. I'm not even gonna be in Tempire. Oh it sucks. <sighs> so yeah, I mean I Oh, I guess nobody was in Tempo. All right. I think trying to give people, like, the best interpretation and the best, like, kind of most generous reading of things that I have seen that I think are counterproductive and kind of need to stop. People are strange little meat bags of salt bacon. <laughs> I'll give you that. <sighs> All right, come on. That. Um, but I mean, I do want to give people as generous a reading as I can, especially when you know the stated purpose is is to be against racism or whatever. But it's like, what is that? mean to people like how does it manifest to people like and that you know I've had <laughs> over the years like a multiple like instances where I feel like it's white people doing so much in order to like reassure themselves and other mostly white people that they're like one of the good ones and like that's just not a, that's not how people should be looking at it I think because I'm like you can't be one of the good ones like it's not about that and you can't be one of the good ones in like a racist system it doesn't work that way um And like, it's it shouldn't be about. It sh it's like making it about white people more, and it shouldn't be about white people. You know, like, and that. <laughs> I'm just like I don't understand when people come at me, and get upset with me for not talking about race more, because. I, I feel like number one, um, I, I I do talk about race some, and that like I try to be, you know, intentional about that, and be very careful about also not talking about things that I that like don't. It's like, what is the purpose of saying this? And am I the person who needs to say it? Asking people to hush up and listen is hard for some folks to heed. I mean, that's very true. But it's not even... I mean, like, that's bad enough. And it is bad. Like, let's be honest. Like, it is bad enough. But then on top of that, you get people who are like... And it is... Always white people who who are just like, why aren't you saying this thing that I want you to say? And it's like because black people said it better than I could? Like what what you should or like, you know, 
Asian people said it better than I could? Or, like, why does someone want my third hand not based in experience, like, thoughts? See. Like, for, for what? Like, you... Tell them if they want you to say it, then let them say it. Well, hmm. This is where it gets sticky, and the reason why is because... I'm going to play one more game, because I think this is a pretty good discussion. But I did lose money. Maybe I'll go play on the medium table. <laughs> they want a white person to quote in arguments. No, I think... I don't think that's why it is. I think the reason why it is, is that... Um, some people have conceived of that in order to be a person who is like has a politics of anti-racism then you have to like say and display certain things like during the uprisings last year and you know everyone's like black squares on Instagram kind of thing you know or like like they want and it and if you are like I I do not see the utility in doing that what I see the utility in doing is like I don't know like stepping back and letting other people talk um that like to some people that reads as oh. you because the thing you gotta understand here too is that I'm like kind of dealing with like oh. weird expectations sometimes um, because people See. are like you have a big platform that's extremely relative um, because, mm, compared to who, but, like, if people see you, then they think that you do, you know, and so they're like, well, you have this big platform, or you're this big figure in whatever, which is extremely debatable, <laughs> but, um, you know, like, so you, sh if you aren't going to say the right things, then it means that my admiration of you in this other space is like not warranted or valid and so I feel like you are one of the bad ones because you won't like put on a show to prove that you're one of the good ones and it's just like uh, is that it? Is that what people are asking for? You know, because it's... I genuinely have had experiences where people are like, um... Why aren't you, like, posting... Like, just... Just a tweet that says Black Lives Matter, and I'm like... I don't think that having Black Lives Matter in your bio... Like, means that you're... That's just a bio, you know? And it's like anybody could do that and it, it it's not this it's not like activism and it's not like I don't know I feel like I have kind of a I would hope that I have kind of a reputation for trying to do the right thing but I don't think I don't think it's like because it's Shaming people doesn't last, right? Like, all of these companies came out and they said Black Lives Matter. You got all these corporate memos and stuff. Like, but what did they do? Like, you know? And it's like people want you to essentially send a corporate email from your quote-unquote big account, you know, to, to show that you're, like, a good one so they can continue to like you. Um, and like, 
I mean, I've thought about it a lot because it's not just on like the uprisings or Black Lives Matter that I've like received this kind of pressure. Like, I get this kind of pressure a lot. And people really, if they see you as having a big platform or whatever, I mean, I can't help but to put that in quote marks because, like, I have usuals online who have a hundred thousand followers. Like, I what? It's so relative, you know. And it's like I, I'm not saying that it's not. I'm just saying that like. It doesn't always seem that way to me. And also, like, I don't feel any different. You know, like, it doesn't... You can go from just being a regular, saying your regular silly ding-dong crap, you know, and making weed jokes, and, and to having people, like, I don't know, like look up to you in a way that is like it doesn't feel any different it's weird I don't know <laughs> see this is what my mother would call a um, high class problem like like what the fuck are you complaining about <laughs> and I get that but like I don't want to be operated like a puppet and I really do think one of the things that's always been really important to me in how I use all of my socials and like YouTube and everything else is like if some if other people have said the thing then like I I don't necessarily feel like I need to keep saying it and you know in a like this is for a lot of different things you know um, or sometimes I'll explain my reasoning and then like, people, that's not enough and it's just like I I'm I'm left in a place where I am like unclear as to why this person is like so angry with me for like being like you know I I think it's more important to put to put the focus not on me and like I'm a Leo I love having the focus on me but it's not always appropriate <laughs> a way that they felt like it represented the experiences of all fat people which like I, can't, I literally can't do that but like you know how could I do that though I mean I'd love to know like one one person just can't represent the experiences of like every person that shares like an identity Venn diagram with them like it's just not possible we all have different experiences and like when it comes to when it comes to studies and research, I can tell you, I can give you book reports, right? Like, I can tell you what Fearing the Black Body says. Although, you should, you know, if you can, you should read it yourself. It's very good. Um, like, I can tell you what, like, certain scientific studies say. I can tell you, you know, I can tell you about things that I've read. And that is, in some cases, 
you know, good. But, like, when it comes to, like, anecdotal experiences, we're talking about, like, people's, like, lived experiences, I can't express to you the lived experience of a fat black woman because I am not two of those things. And, like, you should want to read what someone who that is their experience is going to be able to I'll ne I can read about racism forever but I'll never know what it feels like because I'm white and like that's just the truth and so like I, I just I don't know what people want from me sometimes you know, and I'm just like... It, it was just layered with like... Like, and this doesn't represent this. And then this is not as good as this other thing. And I'm just like, oh, okay. And then like, you know... The reason why it came up, and I'm sort of meandering about it. Because I want to be really careful. I think it is important to be really careful and deliberate in when you're a white person talking about race and that like I think that there are ways to be accomplices in anti-racism that don't involve centering yourself as a white person and that one of those ways is not by calling a super fuck ton of attention to yourself and then asking for applause like that's not what it's supposed to be about um and that's just how I feel about it you know like the things that I do that are privately done I would fe I feel like they would be cheapened if I made a big deal out of them. And that's just how I feel about it. I think it would make the impact of them morally less. Because I would be doing them to get something. And like, it's not like it would be, it's not like that's nothing. I mean, it's better to do something than nothing, no matter what the motive is. But isn't it better if the motor motive is better? <sighs> Don't yell at me, I'll go when I want to go. Yeah. 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 Like, I mean... I'm like, I've put things on the line for like trying to do things for like anti-racism. But it's nobody's business for me to, like, make a spectacle out of that because it would cheapen it. And so I think that there is this thing that white people do where, like, they want that <laughs> performance. <laughs> and, like, I just... I'm, I'm not gonna do it because I it goes kind of against I mean if people if I see that you know people are asking for a certain thing people who are from those communities are asking for certain things I will try to do the things that they are asking for if I can um but otherwise, I just, I just, I'm like, you shouldn't be making it about yourself. And the thing is, is like people, I think feel guilty, right? Like people, when they really, when they like really get a handle on like the fucking horror that is racism, as you know, it feels bad because it is bad, but it's like you gotta let yourself feel bad because like it's bad. 
and that I think people flail around trying to make themselves feel better and it's like you just you gotta just let yourself be uncomfortable because it's not comfortable like and the whole problem is is white people trying to make themselves comfortable and like it's not about that So, that <laughs> basically what ha I'm, I'm like, I'm like talking around in, in like 20 minute circles, like with, like I want to do with my ADHD, but also I'm just like, I don't know. I mean, I think part of it is, is that I grew up in the evangelical church and like, everything was a performance and none of it was real and none of those people did anything nice and they were horrible and it's just like i don't i would rather do something nice for one person and and like or do what i can to do things or like boost other people rather than insert myself into it um to make myself feel better because like I'm from the south, you know, like, it, it's good, you know, that's, that's, if you are like a, a person who cares about, you know, anti-racism, it's like, it's hard, you gotta face it, these things are bad, and bad things were done to people, and like, I, I just don't think that, like, I don't think that, like, <laughs> it should be about, like, I'm just, like, at the very least, if you're going to be anti-racist, you have to get used to, to, you have to let yourself be uncomfortable. Because it's not comfortable. It's not a comfortable thing that happened, and it continues to happen. But anyway, this person didn't like what I, what I had, what I had made. And the way that they responded to that and and like granted i am also making a guess here but i am making a guess based on like interactions that i have had so many times and not just about like anti-racism stuff about you know disability activism other kinds of things too where people are like here is the line you will tow it and i'm just like I don't agree. Like, I don't agree, you know, and that I sh you know, we should have a discussion about it, but you're not gonna, like, brigade me. It's th I'm not saying this person was brigading me. Like, I, I should never have looked, and it's my own fault, also. Um, so, there's that. Like, I hurt my own feet, or I irritated myself, and hurt my own feelings by like looking at something that I damn well should know better than to do um people are weird it's true but you know it it was what it felt like to me because basically there was like a well what can you expect from a like I don't know if they said cis but like straight white woman and I'm just like Like, tried so hard to be anti-racist that you fell over backwards into transphobia and bi erasure. So that's neat for you. Um, and that's that is the part that like yeah I need to pull an Elsa and let it go. I know, but I mean I think that it's just like I was saying the like gender stuff is a little tender, and so it's hard. You know? You're not gonna yell at me and make me do something foolish, sir. Uh, I don't know. This is not a great hand. Oh. But, like, it. Because, like, 
to be clear, I'm not, like, mad that this person kind of was, like... I'm not even mad. I'm just, like, I was not, like... Oh, this person took a swing at me for not talking about race as a white person in this thing that wasn't about racism. Um, and did not embody all experiences of fat people. Like, that shit is, like, pretty fucking normal at this point. I get that kind of shit all the time. It's frustrating, but it happens. Um, but, like, it's the, like, what do you expect from a straight white woman that is the part that I was unhappy about? Tender gender? I mean, my it is tender, you know? I'm just, like... I don't, I don't, like, that's what I mean when I'm, like, white people taking chunks out of other white people, where it's just, like, you could have just said you didn't like it, right? You could have just been, like, I didn't like this, I think it's garbage, and nobody should care about it, and I would have just been, like, alright, <laughs> like, whatever, that's fine, you know, and I think this person even could have been, like, you didn't talk about fatness in the way that I think you should, and you didn't. You should have included race, and you didn't. And I would have just been like, okay, and I don't agree. Um, like, I do not think that we need, like, we already have a fucking excess of white people giving their opinions that nobody asked for. Um... But it was the part where it was like, well, what can you expect for- Oh my god. Oh, someone's at the door. Oh no. Oh, thanks Lady Mari. I'll see you later. Bye! Oh, hun, can you get that? That'd be dope. Thank you. You also keep being awesome. Josh is always awesome. Ooh. Oh man, it's that guy. I barely have any money though, so I'm just gonna take his money. Yeah, I'm gonna fight the big guy. What's up, bro? Uh -huh. Yeah, I'm sorry for like going all off on that. I just like. You could just say you, you could just like not like people, or you could just say you don't like something, or like be like I think you're wrong, or like insult me, or like whatever. It's fine. Like I don't like love being insulted, but like I'm pretty used to it, and I'll just ignore it. But like the misgendering bothered me. It did. <clears throat> you bastard. You're walking around with your long hair swaying in the breeze just to piss me off, aren't you? <sighs> Here we go again. Listen. I found out about a super effective hair growth spray. The only problem is the price. Do I look like a charity for thugs suffering from male pattern baldness to you? Shut up! You're really gonna get it now. Alright. Let's... No, that's good. Alright, let's flip to this. Where is he at? Oh god! Christ. Oh god. And he's always the fixed me fixed camera. Ah! Oh, for fuck's sake! No! Oh, dang it. Alright. Sorry for the complaining. Oh, 
Oh god, he's kicking! No! Harder as it goes. Damn it. Oh man. He's got so many health bars, it sucks. Warning sign on me, it's got a hundred what's it? No, no, damn it, these fucking tiny, ah! tiny ass. Better. Is something better than this? I can shoot him, but that don't work. Ooh! Alright, let's try this. Oh, yes! Yeah! That did some shit! Fuck yeah! Get off him! Get off him! Get off him! No! No! Well, shit. Damn it! <clears throat> Holy shit balls! He's strong! Shaking down for not all of it. At last, I finally have enough to buy that new hair growth spray. I can't wait! So if it works, will that get him out of my hair? No, oh, what am I thinking? I gotta kick his balding ass and get my money back. Yeah. Alright. New rule. I'm not fighting that fucko in these tiny ass little what's it? I don't know. I might have to again. Oh, he beat my ass. That sucked. Damn, Yuda. You didn't, you didn't even want to come help me? Some shit. Yuda got his ass killed. Bye. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed me getting my whole ass beat. I will run the cabaret club. Oh, Beaky is out. Okay. Cast on duty. Well, I guess I need to obtain more money somehow. Dolly. Alright. Special training. I think we got time to do one more special training. Customer service 3 with mana. 
Alright, you ready for another session, Monotron? Hi. Sure. I've been looking forward to it. So just like last time, I'm going to be a regular customer for you. You ready? Okay. Oh, Gorokun. You came to see me again? I'm so happy. Yeah. I couldn't wait. <laughs> ah ha ha. Thanks. Let's have fun again today. <laughs> right on. We lost track of time. We've been seeing a lot of each other, eh, Monachan? I feel like we've gotten much closer. So That's true. But if you ordered a bottle of expensive champagne, we might grow even closer, you know? Hey, good idea. Let's. Uh, there you go again, Monashan. I almost put that order in. But today, I want to focus on you generating the topics of conversation with a customer. So basically, you're going to be asking me the questions this time. How's that sound? Haha, <laughs> 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 that sounds like fun. <laughs> Ooh. Haha, <laughs> that sounds like fun. A chance to strip bear the mysterious Gorokun. I'm gonna take this opportunity to pose some hard hitting questions. Mm. Anything you want. Although, suddenly, I'm having regrets. Jasasoku,何から聞こうかな? <laughs> Okay then, let's get going. What should I ask first? Oh yeah! Gorokun, do you have someone you like right now? Huh? Huh? Someone I like? I mean, he hasn't met Kiryu yet. So I'm gonna say he ain't got no one. Yeah? Mm, nope, no ladies like that in my life. What? You're surrounded by all these cute girls and you don't have a crush on one? Are you lying to me? Turnabout is fair play. I ain't lying at all. Come on, girl. Treat people like you want to be treated. Oh, come on. If your voice is anything to go on, you sound rather flustered, Gardokun. That's because you asked me a weird question. Hmm, oh well. I guess we'll just have to leave it at that. For crying out loud, don't you got any normal questions for me? Oh man, she's got Ace Attorney on us. Objection! That last question was a totally normal question. Objection over rule. Take that. Ah, so that. Oh no! Oh no, no! Sheesh. Okay. Let's ask next. Oh, I got it. Gorokun, are you the S or the M? Which one? Here we go again. What is this game doing to me? Why would you do this to me? Hey, you're the one who said I could ask you anything. By the way, I think more of an I'm more of an S myself. Only given me. I'm. 
She's just sitting there waiting. Just normal ass conversation. Uh, I think I actually, now that this has popped up, I think I actually remember this. So, the last time, I know I picked S, and she didn't like that, so I guess I'll pick M. I guess I'm a masochist. Oh, God. Wow, really? I'm surprised. So you enjoy being bullied a little bit, huh? Then we're super compatible. Yay! That, of all things, is what makes us compatible? Uh, yay? You are really wound up today, Monachan. <laughs> Aha, that's because it's super rare to be able to ask you any questions I want, Goro-kun. <sighs> Mana, you making it weird. What shall I ask you next? <sighs> Please, let it be a normal question. That's awful, Goro-kun. I'm totally asking you normal questions. <sighs> I think you're just making fun of all of this. Demonomaniac, hi! Um, this... I'm having a weird time with this girl asking me questions. Why can't you understand how serious I am about all this? Monachan? Yes, <laughs> yes, Oh my god! Okay, so first question was Do you like anyone here? <laughs> second question was Are you an S or an M? And then they spelled it out for you real nice S for sadist and for masochist. There were no other options. <laughs> that was great. And then this one is, what do you what do you think the future? Oh god. The part about liking bullying was because I had him say because she was like, I think I'm more of an ass myself. And I was like, oh, okay. And I remembered that question after she asked it. And I knew I said S the last time and she didn't like it. So I said the other one this time, and then she said that bullying thing. Um, what do you think the future of Japan will be like? If, she, if he doesn't say flying cars, he's missing an opportunity, I feel like. Um, I'm doing pretty good. I'm actually having a pretty good week. Uh, my anxiety is still being a little bitch because my brain is broken, <laughs> like, all the time. But also just, like... You know, you bleed off anxiety after a certain point, and I'm just like, I'm ready to... <sighs> Fucking bullshit, you know? But, like, like, that's the worst, is when you're like, everything is fine, but I don't feel fine. And just like, that's because... My brain... <laughs> huh? The future in Japan? Where did that come from? No, it's not going to. How's that? That's my best effort to ask you a serious question. The economy is doing super well right now, but do you think it'll keep going? The future of our country, eh? I'm gonna say we'll crash, because I know that's what did happen. Whenever things get good, the crash always follows. Oh, oh. I see, I see. Why would that be? 
Sure, the economy's doing well right now. Everyone's got money. They buy whatever their hearts desire. But people ain't got the faintest clue why they're doing so well. Poor regulation. I mean, poor regulation. The Bank of Japan made some really weird decisions. But also, the United States got involved and helped, like, crash the yen. It's tr I looked it up. Because, you know, I live in a bad country. Everyone was like, the Japanese are going to surpass us. And they're doing so well. And then they kind of... It's not completely the fault of the American government interfering. But they did interfere. Um, the same stuff that they're saying about China now, they were saying about Japan. Um, like, oh, and the exports and the money. And they're doing this. And they, like... Blah blah blah, and but then the Bank of Japan made some pretty bad decisions, and it's just, and also, uh, yeah, it's it's just it just in every way it could have gone wrong, it went wrong, and it is still like affecting them today. It's like really bad. <laughs> This is the thing that's key. People ain't got the faintest clue why they're doing so well. All this free money is going out as fast as it's coming in. And they don't care as long as it keeps flowing. So when it stops, and it will, everyone who didn't put anything away is going to starve and die. What the fuck? Why did why does she like that? Amazing, Gorokun, you look at the world really objectively. <laughs> ha, how was that? You got an opinion you want to share on the matter? <laughs> I agree. I think everyone's getting carried away without thinking about what might happen after. Gorokun, I'm surprised you and I are on the same wavelength as this. On this. Mm -hmm. Huh. You quite the thinker, Monachan. Mm -hmm. Is it really that late? Time flies when I'm talking to you, Monachan. Let's make this next question the last. Hi. Saigo no Simon Ka. Mm -hmm. Okay. The final question, huh? Hmm. What should I ask? It's the last one, so don't overthink it. Don't even have to be a serious one. Sure. Let me see. Oh, I got it. I get pangs in my chest recently. I wonder if I'm sick or something. For seriously? Your chest? What's it feel like? I don't know why, but when I get ready to come... I, I don't know why, but when I get ready to come to Club Sunshine for work, I get these pangs in my chest. It goes away when I get home. Do you think I'm sick? Um, both of these are pretty good. I'm gonna ask her. I feel like maybe you should see a doctor. That doesn't sound good. If work's giving you chest pains, you probably better go see a doctor, Monachan. Yeah, thanks, Gorokun. Oh, but it's not like I'm getting sick of work or anything like that. It's nothing like that at all. <laughs> Nah, I can tell you really love your job, Monachan. See, the pangs in her chest are because she has a crush on her dad boss, Majima. And. Yeah. You just, you just, like, you're just in love with Majima because, like, who could blame you? Ooh, ouchie. I wonder what this is. 
feels like my chest is tightening up. Uh, you okay? Maybe you should take off early tonight. Arigato, Thanks, Goroku. That's a good listen. Okay, no more practice today for sure. How's your chest? Oh, I think it went away. Sorry for worrying you. Well, that's a relief. Okay, and then let's see. <laughs> I say that went really well. Conversing with you is a real joy. Just keep it up. You're gonna stay on top. <laughs> Yay! I'm so happy. I'll keep on doing my best. Nice. Good to hear. Hi. Okay. Thank you. Alright. Let's back out of that. One thing that I like um, that I've noticed in the games and like in the animes that I've started watching is that people a lot of times are like I'll do my best. Um, you know, like... It seems like it's a colloquial phrase that's used a lot. I'm just like, that's nice. You know? And I've started to use that at my job. And they're like, blah, 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 blah. Instead of being like, oh, X, Y, and Z, I'm just like, I'll do my best. And you know what? They're pretty... People seem pretty happy with that. Oh, no! <laughs> well... It's time to end the stream. Because <laughs> it's time for dinner. Um, but, if you're new in the stream, you can always follow me if you want to. It's up to you. My name is Allie. I'm from okay to be fat because it is okay to be fat Thank you so much to Demonomaniac, the Lady Mari, and Ms. Dravel for being in the chat. You guys are awesome. I always have such a good time with y'all. Um, you have a good night, too. I'm so glad that you were able to make it. Um... I'll be back on Friday. We're going to push story on Friday. So, I'm pretty sure. Um, yeah. So, uh, have a good rest of your day or night. If you want to, if you miss the stream and you want to watch it later, I'm uploading VODs to YouTube. You can check my pinned tweet. Um, it's got a link. And, or if you want to watch it native on Twitch, that's also cool. Whatever works for you. All right. Um, it was good. I had a good time. I got to go. Bye. I hope you had a good time too.